Underwater videography requires a combination of patience and practice. It involves waiting for the ideal moment when the lighting is optimal and the desired marine life appears. Consistent practice is essential for developing skills in this field. Many experienced professionals offer educational underwater videography workshops, some of which take place on live aboards or at various resorts globally. For beginners in underwater videography, it is advisable to enroll in an underwater videographer course to establish a strong foundation. This course can be completed through structured e-learning programs. Alternatively, individuals can seek recommendations from industry professionals for workshops. Starting the learning process with an e-learning course is recommended to acquire a thorough understanding of the basics of underwater videography. The fundamental principle of underwater videography is like that of underwater photography, with a focus on the significance of buoyancy control. Consistently maintaining buoyancy is essential for achieving steady footage and reducing disturbances to the delicate marine environment. Even minor collisions can result in damage to fragile coral reefs, which may require years to recover. Moreover, such collisions can negatively impact the quality of video recordings. It is advisable to refine buoyancy control abilities in a controlled setting like a pool before exploring the open ocean. For individuals looking to improve their skills, participation in the peak performance buoyancy course provided by various scuba diving organizations is recommended. Furthermore, individuals can begin their learning journey through online platforms. By mastering these techniques, both your videos and the reef will benefit from your careful approach. The optical properties of light undergo modifications when it penetrates underwater. With increasing depth, the vibrancy of colors diminishes progressively, highlighting the need for supplementary illumination. A reliable dive light is indispensable for accentuating the rich spectrum of colors that enhance the visual appeal of underwater videography. It is crucial to prevent your footage from blending into the aquatic environment. By effectively illuminating the subjects, one can observe them coming to life. Water has been observed to reduce the contrast and sharpness in photographs. To address this issue, it is recommended to closely approach the subject to ensure that the frame is filled and intricate details are captured effectively. Nevertheless, it is of utmost importance to prioritize safety and show respect for marine life consistently. It is crucial to maintain a safe distance, especially during night dives when marine creatures may display increased sensitivity. To enhance the quality of underwater video recordings, it is recommended to configure the camera settings before submerging. Begin by setting the shutter speed to 1 60th of a second, targeting an aperture of around f5.6 and striving for a low ISO setting. These settings can be adjusted based on the lighting circumstances and the movement of the subject. It is crucial to understand that a larger aperture will lead to a blurred background, while a smaller aperture will increase the depth of field. The use of a wet lens proves to be advantageous in the realm of underwater videography as it allows for the acquisition of various perspectives without the necessity of opening the housing in between dives. When choosing a wet lens, it is crucial to take into account corner sharpness and distortion, as these elements can significantly impact the overall quality of the recorded footage. Prior to initiating the filming process, it is recommended to choose the preferred format. Selecting the landscape format is advisable when the future use of the footage is uncertain, as it offers increased versatility for potential applications. Different photographic perspectives can be attained through the manipulation of vantage points. This may include employing a bird's eye view, a worm's eye view, or capturing images at eye level. Passive camera movements are recommended in cinematography. It is advised to refrain from excessive use of zooms, pans, and other dynamic camera movements. Vary the framing of the shot by capturing a range of perspectives, including distant views and close-up shots. Engage in a series of movements that include moving, pointing, shooting, and stopping. Transition between shots intentionally and carefully. Consider the framing of your shots before starting the filming process. 
the inclusion of human faces in videos as it enhances viewer engagement. Content featuring people tends to establish a stronger connection with the audience, thereby facilitating relationship building. Make use of the available light source and verify that it is effectively illuminating your subject. The auditory component holds equal importance to the visual aspect. Furthermore, I encourage you to explore my other videos, which offer a plethora of tips and tricks to support you in your personal pursuits. I wish you successful diving experiences. I wish you successful diving.